Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gauge 3 Designs and I'm back with another episode. I have a matchup model here and with using Thea Render 2.0, I just want to show how fast the render, the render time is. So I have my scene set up, I have my materials and everything. Um, the computer that I use, I use the Omen laptop. It's This is a gaming laptop. Actually, I recommend that you use a gaming laptop when you do um, renderings um, just because of the process speed that you need and if you go into the Thea Render website it gives you the requirements but you kind of want to go a little above that you know just to get a better performance um, I recommend a Core i7 um, so so if you visit the theorender.com site what you do is you just scroll down to the bottom and it gives you the requirements now I used to use a Mac um, for 1.5 and I think the SketchUp I was using was 2016. So for Thea Render, uh, I use Windows. I have Windows 10. Um, so, you know, that's good. Um, so these are the requirements. So, you know, Presto GPU, NVIDIA, you know, graphics card, you know, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, make or pro. So you don't have to have SketchUp Pro. I prefer SketchUp Pro because you can do more with SketchUp Pro. Uh, I recommend SketchUp Pro. I think it's worth it. And if you're a student, you can get a discount. Um, but I understand I used SketchUp Make for a very long time um, when I was broke in college. And so I totally understand why you would use SketchUp Make. It's free. Here's the thing though, 2018 does not offer SketchUp Make. So SketchUp Make, if you have not had 2017 or any of the other versions before 2018, and you're not going to be, it's going to be, you're going to have a hard time finding, uh, well, you're not going to find 2018 Make, but you're going to have a hard time finding 2017 Make. You may get lucky, but I wasn't able to find it. I'd recommend just buying 2018 Pro. It, it, it it's it's a lot better. You can do a lot more in SketchUp with with SketchUp Pro. But anyway, here's your requirements. Whether you have Windows or Mac, um, you go with this. My computer, the computer that I use, like I said, is the Omen um, HP. Omen by HP laptop. It's a gaming laptop. It's just, it's you. It was created for gaming. Um, I don't game at all. Um, not into gaming anymore. I used to be before college, but I have a gaming laptop, and I it it works very well for renderings. If you're going to be doing a lot of renderings, you need a fast processor. You want to get renderings done fast. I recommend a gaming laptop. This is what I use. This is the requirements. Um, See, my, my Omen HP has a processor, uh, Intel processor, Core i7, uh, 8750 CPU um, with 2.2 gigahertz. Um, that's worked perfectly fine for me. I know the computer I use at work has 3.7 gigahertz. Um, you know, depends on what you want, what you can afford, um, what you want to spend. Um, but the 2.2 gigahertz Core i7 Omen HP laptop works great for my renderings. Um, I've done animations, they work great. Um, when I get my desktop, I'm kind of going to match what I have at work. Um, same, pretty much same performance, same render time, just about. So, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and see how this rendering does. And we'll just map out and see how long this actually takes. Now, on my old computer, I used to use Mac, um, the Render 1.5. It would I would render overnight. Um, it would always take me long periods of time to render. Um, this render shouldn't take as long. So we'll just go ahead and let that render, and we'll see how long it takes. And hopefully this helps you determine what kind of computer you need. So if you see here in just an hour, you got a pretty good rendering. Um, you can start seeing how the asphalt is starting to show some reflection with with the water, um, the grass, you know, your siding, everything's clean. Um, 
it looks like it's still working here inside the garage where I have a light but you kind of get a sense of how fast you can get a rendering and what it takes now if we had more uh, grass and more bushes and more trees along here it could take a little longer um, if I didn't have any of these trees and that light I'd bet this would have been done probably 30 30 40 minutes so that kind of gives you a time frame of how long it takes to do a rendering so hopefully you found this video informative don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe thanks Thank you.